I love it when you call me big ma, ma. Wait, what? What's up, fatties? I'm Tay Marie, and today is the day. Now, every day is the day. Oh, but today is the day. Today is the day I unveil my action phase. And no, I'm not going to say action phase like that every time, you know, just when I feel like it. So anyways, the action phase is made up of uh, some simple things put together and uh, they, they work out really nicely. They all complement each other and they help you along your way. Now, the key to my you know, action phase is bypass. That's right, bypass. Not bypass, like the fatty surgery that's super expensive that I can't even afford. I mean, that I totally don't need. Not that, bypass. Now, BIPAPS is an acronym because I love acronyms. And it stands for bodily intake, physical activity, and fatty support. That's it. Put those all together, you got yourself a success pie. Well, don't even think about pie, but moving on. So, you might be wondering, you know, if this is your first time seeing a video of mine. Well, if this is your first time seeing a video, you might want to click here and, uh, you know, check out my first vid explaining, you know, what this is all about. And uh, don't worry, I'll wait. Fatty, I will wait for you. Not. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, like, who is this fatty McFatty fat thing she is telling me how to lose weight? I mean, I'm you. I'm just another fatty in the crowd, but it just so happens that I've lost 230 pounds. Now, granted, I kind of found 100 of those pounds hiding in the bottom of some Cheetos bags, you know. But I'm not going to let that discourage me from thinking that I can do something, I can help, and that in turn I can get help from others. So, here I am. Now, let's get right on to the action phase. Let's talk about the bodily intake. So, the first, the first thing I want to say is don't get too extreme. We are just starting out. Who knows what kind of eating habits you're coming from. So, just whatever I say, take it however you can take it comfortably to start. Now let's start off with the um with with portions. Now I I would encourage you to eat until you're satisfied rather than eat until you're stuffed to the brim. Now to some people that might be synonymous, but and I've been there before, but it's really it's not the same thing, people. It's not the same thing. So what I would suggest for people who like don't know the difference, try taking your time and eating a little bit slower. Because if you do that, your body will have time to like your stomach will have time to be like, okay, I'm cool. You can stop eating instead of being, you know, licked clean the plate, then it's done. No. Just try slowing down. Plus, if you slow down your food when you eat, you could actually taste the food. But anyways, uh, that's portions. Now, meal times. You know, I grew up with the, you know, BLD, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, pretty substantial meals, and that's it. You know, but that is not really the most optimum meal plan, especially if you're trying to lose weight. So what I would suggest is once you've, you know, um, made smaller portions and, um, you know, ate, eating to be satisfied, then you add, like, little snacks in between the BL and the D. And so usually you eat between like every, about every two and a half to three hours, something like that. And this is important because it keeps your metabolism going and, um, you stay, I don't want to say energized. Cause if you'd be like, I'm not energized. She said I would be, then she don't blame me, but it, it will help. It helped me at least. That's all I can say. So yeah, meal times, add a, add a couple snacks, like maybe even a, a later snack. Like if after dinner, you're really hungry and you expect to be up for a, a longer period of time. If you grab like, you know, uh, like a piece of fruit and a little bit of, of a meat or something or like some peanut butter. Yes, peanut butter. I've done that. Then go for it if, you, if you're going to be up for a while. So going on to liquids. Mm, water and water and more water. No, but seriously, people, I know it's really hard to kick pop and juice. And you don't have to kick it, you know, necessarily. But it'll really help if you, you know really take that pop intake and just uh, yeah so and I, like the benefit of drinking water is that you just it feels amazing it's like it flushes your body out it's kind of like if if you were a car hopefully not a jalopy if you're a car the food is like the oil and i'll say that the water is the gasoline and you better be lucky that water ain't that dang on expensive so you know drink up people glup glup and um uh, don't overdo it though because drinking too much water can, like, kill you. So don't do too much. But seriously, like, you drink a lot, you drink plenty of water, and one of the best benefits is you won't be thirsty. So, yeah, liquids. Now, moving on to physical activity. 
P90X, get it or get lost. I'm just playing, please, P90X, not this one, at least not now, that's not what I'm feeling. So you wanna know what we're really gonna do, what I'm gonna do, and I hope you follow. Now walk it out, hey, now walk it out, uh. Okay, yeah, that's it, we're gonna be walking. We're gonna walk our big butts straight out of club fat together. Now, everybody has different body types and metabolism and different target heart rates for when they're in their target fat burning zone. So I can't tell you specifically what your heart rate needs to be and all that, but you can look it up online. Um, okay, I'll post a link in the description to where you can look up your target heart rate online for when you're walking to have optimal fat burning. Now let's start this off slow, people. Let's say, I don't know, three times a week, let's try to get out and go for a stroll. I'm not gonna tell you how long it needs to be. You be your own judge. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna try to push you any harder than you need to be pushed, so do your thing. And just for the record, going to the corner store to grab that honey bun is not considered one of these strolls, okay? Really. So, um, that's it. Physical activity, we're just going to be walking. If you want to add more to that, do you, boo. Do you. But that's what I'm going to be doing. Feel free to join me. So, now that we've talked about the body and in body intake, the physical activity. Yeah, those just those two. Now let's talk about the fatty support. That's me and you. This is going to be the fun part. You know, I personally got fat because I didn't hold myself accountable. Like, I, I honestly... Once I started to really notice I was gaining, instead of like going around people that I knew would be like, girl, psh, that booty getting juicy or something like that, I just stayed away from the people who would call me out and I just, you know, put the scale in the back of the closet, close and lock the door. So, but that's, that's bad. So to keep myself accountable and hopefully keep some of you accountable, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to be having personal weigh-ins every Wednesday, hence the title, Weigh-in Wednesday. So you get to see my progression or digression. Hopefully I won't. Hopefully I won't digress. I'm gonna stay my best to be on my to be on my P's and Q's. But uh, you're gonna be right along there with me every Wednesday, folks. Every Wednesday. Now I encourage you to do the same thing. Like if you want to post a comment, like I was I weighed this much this week. I'm this much down from last week. Awesome. That just makes you more uh, participative. Did I make that up? Anyways, it, you participate more, and uh, the more you participate. The more active you are, I think the more successful uh, you will most likely be with this action phase. So yeah. Um, also, if you want to post a video response of yourself getting on the scale, do that too. That's even more interactive. It'd be awesome. I love to watch it. But if you don't want to, you know, a little shy, a little camera shy, that's cool. Uh, just as active as you're comfortable as being. And hopefully within the weeks, as you gradually get used to me and whoever else is with us, you know, you, you want to open up a little bit more. So... Oh, excuse me. Um, here's the thing. I'm going to get on the scale now. And up until this point, you haven't seen, like, this down, except for on my, like, super duper old videos. So, without further ado. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Okay, oops, sorry about that. I wasn't trying to flash you there. So, this is what I look like, people. This is me, love handles and pooch and all. This is what I look like. That sounded really bad. Don't take that wrong. So, this is the front. That's my baby, Daylin. Well, not my son. That's my nephew. Then again, if it was my son, I could explain this, but whatever. That's my nephew. So, this is what I look like. This is my shape. Turn sideways. Now, watch yourself. Boom! There's too much booty in the pants. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> and um, just so you can see the back row rows, there's the back rows, people. This is me in all my glory. Um, yeah. I I really was kind of dreading this day. I'm like, they're gonna see me past my shoulders, and they're gonna really know that I'm super duper fat. But that's the point, cause you're here with me, and hopefully I won't be for very long. Huh. Huh. So. Just so you know, I'm about to do it now, just get over with. Every time that I get on the scale and I've lost weight and I'm like smaller than I was from last week, I'm gonna do a heel top stretch. Now, I haven't shaved my armpits, so if you see, sorry about that. And my legs are a little black in there, so if you see that, oh well. And uh, I haven't really tried this or practiced it, but here we go. Okay, focus. Huh? Huh? Whoa! I almost fell! I don't 
suggest that to anybody. I almost crushed my nephew. Don't do it. It's not a good idea. All right. Now, let's, uh, today, Lamb, I'm sorry. You got to move my way, honey. I'm going to crush you like a bug. Let's move over to the scale. Now, it's just a little run-of-the-mill scale. Can you see it? Can, can you? What the? Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. There's the scale. Now, last time I got on the scale was, um, was that Thursday when I recorded my first video. And the scale said 364.4 pounds. That's how much it said. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. So now I'm about to... I haven't got on the scale since then. Cross my heart. You know, hope to die. I'm serious. So here we go. Let's, let's do this together. I'm going to point it down so hopefully you can see the scale. Okay. All right. Excuse me, sweetheart. Here we go. All right. And it's set. Boom. Boom. Oh, oh, let me stop moving. It's a book. Wow. It's a book. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it says uh, 49.6. Did you see that? I hope you saw it because I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. 49.6 from 354.4. Wow. No, no, 364.4 actually. This is ridiculous. You know what? I know what it is. Excuse me, sweetheart. This is why. This is why there's such a big fluctu fluctuation. First of all, wait, let me plug you up for a little bit more light. First of all, a lot of the weight that I had on me was just water weight from eating so many uh, salty, salty foods. You eat those foods and the water just, you know, absorbs and just stays there. So um, by cutting down my sodium intake significantly, I think I shed a lot of water weight fast. Plus, I'm huge. So the weight goes away fast, but it's, uh, you know, it's a keeping consistent that's important. Another thing is, I don't know what time I got on my scale. I may have gotten on a scale like right after I ate, you know, a buffet, all you can eat buffet at uh, Ponderosa. If, if that's even still open, I haven't been there forever. But yeah, that might be another reason. And also, um, I don't know what clothes I had on. Maybe I had on jeans that were heavy. Why am I saying all this? I'm excited, y'all. It said 300 and, what did it say? 346? No, I done forgot. I'll rewind this and watch it. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm on the road again. So, um, come with me, y'all. Come with me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, post it, baby. Let me know. You know, tell me everything. Let's be in this together. I mean, whether there's 10 of us, 100 of us, or 1,000 of us, I want us to all do this together. There's this, this quote that I've been thinking about, you know, from my boy Aesop. And it's really simple. It's just... United we stand, divided we fall. Like, <coughs> dang, that's deep. United we stand, divided we fall. Like, for real? Wow. That's heavy. So, light in the mood. Boom, boom. Ha <laughs> flap my wings again. Okay. Sorry, times two. So, yeah, let's, let's keep that in mind, people. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. And, uh, yeah, if you want to continue on this journey with me, I really hope you do. Yeah, you because know, you inspire me just as much as I hopefully inspire you. Subscribe to my page and let's keep in touch. Now, come with me every Wednesday because this is what's going to be going on. Every Wednesday is weigh in Wednesday, Psh, period. You know, and like I said, I encourage you to do the same, but it's up to you. Now, still tune in for other uh, videos during the week because I always keep something coming just to like keep you. You know, keep you satisfied with some fatty news until the weigh-ins. So, yeah, stick with me. We'll get through this together. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. You have a beautiful day. Peace out.